All right, so we're at number four, my number four guitar hero. You know how many guitar heroes I have? We could do like a hundred of these. We could come back and keep doing this. So if I'm going in chronological order <laughs> of my life, I mean, number four is Stevie Ray Vaughan. So, you know, it sounds so crazy to go back. Who's your favorite guitar players? Eddie Van Halen, Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Stevie Ray Vaughan. But of course they are. Of course Stevie Ray Vaughan is. I, I, again, my age, my the demographic, the time I was born. Um, you know, in the 80s, man, Stevie Ray Vaughan was becoming super famous. And I was just starting to recognize being told, you know, I got in high school. I'm into rock and roll. I'm into guitar. And I'm, you know, I'm getting hip to things. And somebody's telling me that, hey, I think you like blues. And, you know, mid-80s, Steve Ray Vaughan starts to become very famous. Very famous guitar player that is uh, on the radio, on MTV. And so he's a pop star that just happens to be playing blues music. So, uh, you know, I've told you that before, that that's like my dream come true. Stevie's songs are short and sweet, and they've got blues guitar in them, and I'm just like, overwhelmed at this point because uh, again what I'm hearing now differently than I'm hearing Clapton in this play and I'm hearing Hendrix in this playing um, he's not playing like Eddie Van Halen but he's playing with that ferocity and and it's fast and it's intense and it's on and it's like you know it's like again nothing else I had heard before and it's like guitar non-stop. And he's the, you know, he's the singer and he's... Look, I, I cannot play like Steve Ray Vaughan, but he's like playing rhythm and lead. And it's got this aggressiveness to it that really, you know, started to hit me to... Just blues, you know, but later I realized like, wow, Texas blues has a particular sound to it, a particular feel, the way they play the shuffle, the way they push the guitar. You know, I'm, I've always been a ZZ Top fan as well. You know, just as you're growing up and I'm a kid, we're talking about a 13, 14 year old, 15 year old kid, um, starting to connect the dots and Stevie Ray Vaughan really helped to connect a lot of dots, um, so he's absolutely one of my all-time favorite guitar players, one of my favorite inspirations. Um, it's his guitar playing as a part of my guitar playing, his style. The Texas blues, I've, I've moved to Texas. I lived in Texas the past 18 years, and it's like something I've kind of adopted because I, I just like love it. So it's such a part of my playing, my style, my songs, my recordings are... <laughs> The tonality of playing uh, a Fender guitar through a tube screamer. You know, we haven't even really, I haven't really even touched on this, but by the time I'm in high school and I'm learning to play guitar, I'm starting to be able to play guitar. And so then it's starting to be like, you need a good guitar. I need an amp and, or, you know, you need a pedal or something. Although pedals were not really that big then. But Steve Ray Vaughan is using a tube screamer. I never even heard of a tube screamer up until I heard of Steve Ray Vaughan. So all of a sudden now, you know, there's this thing that starts to happen where I start to, there's a sound with a Fender guitar and a Fender amp and a tube screamer. <laughs> That's what I have with me here. I have a, like a clone of a tube screamer, a Fender Princeton amp, and a, and a Stratocaster. And guess what it sounds like? It sounds like Steve Ray Vaughan. It's just it's it it's in me. It was it was unobtainable for me to get a Marshall stack like Eddie Van Halen. Um, but I was able to get a tube screamer 
And so I kind of pursued that sound. And, and also where I grew up in St. Louis, it's like such a working class rock and roll town. KC95 is our you know, classic rock station. And Stevie Ray Vaughan was, when he was, uh, when he was alive, he was on the air all the time on KC. So it's just, it's just ingrained in me. Um, we do a thing, you know, uh, uh, some great guitar players back home in St. Louis that are uh, also like heroes of mine. Steve Piccaro, Tony Campanella. They, these guys do a Stevie Ray Vaughan tribute every year. They've been doing it for over 20 years in St. Louis, and I've gotten to take part in, in it the past five years. I mean, we're talking like in front of 3,000 people. They do it once a year. That, that's how famous Steve Ray Vaughan is in St. Louis. So his, um, his rhythm, let's just dig in a second, his strong rhythm. He is keeping time. His hand's doing this thing. I've never seen that before where it's going... <laughs> circular motion and sometimes it's really big like just just his rhythm is so intense and so in your face uh it really you know hit me to uh playing in time with the band playing rhythm his leads his licks are rhythmic in the rhythm so it's like he's like Like that just so interested me. It was like this nonstop freight train of like guitar. Like he's playing rhythm. He's playing. It wasn't like, oh, I got a rhythm guitar player or I'll play the rhythm track. Oh, now I'll play the lead track. He was doing it all at once. And, and really, I think, you know, out of necessity, because he was playing, you know, playing in bars and playing every night and trying to make, fill the bandstand up with sound. And uh, that really inspired me and um, really uh, encouraged my rhythm playing, uh, encouraged my lead playing to be rhythmic, to keep my licks in rhythm, not break the time up uh, so much, but like try to just really stay in there, you know. And it really hit me to this kind of Texas blues, this real like in your face, aggressive style. And, and I, and I still, man, I just love it. I've, I've got lots of songs where I'm, you know, trying to cop Stevie's licks that they've just become a part of my playing over the years. You know, uh, there's a song called wasted time. That's on my make blues now war album. That's, you know, just right out of the, the Texas blues handbook. So, um, you know, Steve Ray Vaughan is absolutely number four on my list, but gosh, I probably play more Stevie inspired blues in my all the time guitar playing maybe than anybody, you know, because it's, uh, it's just, it's what blue sounds like to me. It was like the first time I was told, yeah, that's blues. And I was like, oh, okay. So I like blues. <laughs> 